This video shows how to perform a simple regression test between two variables and also how to plot a chart together with the regression model. So first we want to read the data. So we want to investigate if the number of reds in the canvas is determined by the number of cats. So we took a sample which consists of 10 locations. For each location, we count the number of reds and number of cats. So the first thing is to read the data into the R. So first we need to determine our working directory. So this is a directory where we save our data. So we just click run. After that, we can read the data into the R. Just copy the entire name of the file with the extension. So we create a name of the object. Then we type read CSV, put the open and close quotation mark, and then paste the file name together with the extension. Then just click run. So now we have our data set. Just click on it to examine if this is a correct data. Then the next thing that we want to do is to perform the normality test. You can just type Shabiro test for the first variable, which is the number of reds. Then click run. So ensure that our data is not normally distributed. We can perform the same test for another variable from the data set, which is in this case is number of cats. Ensure that the data is normally distributed. So in this case, actually, we cannot perform the simple linear regression because one of the variable is violate the assumption, the normality. However, for as an exercise, we still use the same data set to test for the simple linear regressions. So after we have tested the normality, the next thing is to summarize the data. So we can make a plot. We can plot the variable against the number of cats. Just click run. So we can change the axis and also make a title. So you can put a comma, click enter to move to the second line. So you can put the S label equal to after that comma Y label equal to open and close quotation mark. At the same time, we also can put our title, just type man equal to open and close quotation mark. Then we can click run. Okay. So now we have our chart. So the next thing is to calculate our regression model. So we want to save the regression model test result as an object. So we can type as a simple linear regression model. It's equal to so the command for the regression model is LM bracket, then put the Y variable, which is the number of reds, against the S variable, which is number of cats. So you can run, and then the result has been saved into this object. So we can type the name of this object again to explore the result. Run. So now we have a regression model. 
and our intercept is this value and our regression coefficient, the slope is negative 7.099. Then we can add the line into the chart. First, you have to make a scatter plot for two both variable, perform the regression test, then we can add the line to the chart. So what we need to do is just type a, b, line, then put the name of the object of that consists of the regression model result, then click run. So you can see now you have the simple linear regression. This is a best fit model for our data set. However, as you can see, there are considerable discrepancy between the observed and predict value. So the next thing to test the whether the regression model is significant. So what we can do, we can just explore the result a bit more, just type summary of our regression test just now. Click run. So this is a summary for the T test and also F test. So in this case, they will show you the intercept exactly same as the one that we shown just now and the standard error for the intercept, the T value for the intercept and also the significant for the intercept. Similarly for the regression coefficient, the slope. So we have the value, the constant, a standard error for the regression coefficient, the T value and also the P value. So in this case, we can observe that the linear model is not statistically significant. At the same time, the R square will be reported here as well. So the R square is 0 0.358. Okay. And then the F statistic will be report as well. So they will give you the F statistic directly and also the two degree of freedom, the degree of freedom for the regression and also the residue and the P value will be given. So in this case, our P value is larger than 0 0.05, which is our alpha. So we will not reject the no hypothesis. The relationship between the number of rats and number of cats is not a linear relationship. So this is a summary. So of course you still can obtain the ANOVA table, which show you all the value for the sum of square and also the mean square. Just type ANOVA, put again the regression model result. Okay, it's this one that we calculated just now. Just click run. So this is a full ANOVA table. Okay. And when you type summary, they will summarize the ANOVA table result. So it's basically the same result. So here you have all the value. You have the t-test to test the significance of intercept and regression coefficient. You have the r-square to indicate the percentage of variance that is explained by the model. And you also have the f-test to test whether the regression model is significant. Then after that, you can save the script. And you can save the image as well.